Let us look at the parts of a typical data figure. Data figures have different parts. To know how a typical one may look, let us go to PubMed and search for a publication. So here's an example figure out of one of my papers that was published in Cell. Let us go to figure 1 and look at the components of the figure. Here, it begins with some schematics in panels A and B, but that is not always the case. The purpose of this schematic is to visualize a new concept we developed, which may be abstract to explain with words alone. It is a simplified visual abstraction of a complex idea or procedure. And there are some data in panels C, D, E, and F. The data are representations of the major findings. Here, the data is composed of plots from experimental readings and chemical formulae representing chemical small molecules we obtain in drug screening of a chemical library. Together with the schematics, they help in summarizing the procedure and findings from experiments and give the reader a framework to understand the paper. Now, figures alone are not sufficient for a comprehensive summary. So, to top up things, there is a caption giving a short and concise explanation of what is shown in the figures. It begins with a sentence that gives a high-level summary of the whole figure. Consider this as a hook. The better it is, the more your audience would want to read past this heading. The first sentence is followed by concise take-home results or messages of what is shown in the figures. Now, most people quickly skim through figures and captions of a paper to decide whether it is something they want to read in detail. To learn how to write good captions, you want to invest time in the figures you'd find in good publications to learn why the authors have written what they've written. Like the video, send it to a friend, a new video drops soon on how to make a template for creating data figures.